Hello, for many areas Sunday was a dry and a sunny day, but it was cold and it's set to turn even colder through the next few days. Temperatures barely getting above freezing by the start of the new working week and the risk, increasing risk of some disruptive snowfall events. We already have yellow and amber warnings in force for heavy snow across much of the UK. So what's the reason for this cold weather then? Today we saw highs around four or five degrees, so it was cold, but the very cold air is waiting just to the east of the UK, shown by the blue and the purple on the map. This air is originating from Russia, and those very cold conditions will spread their way westwards across the whole of the UK. So by the time we get through to Tuesday and Wednesday, temperatures by day hovering around freezing, factor into account the strength of the wind, it will feel bitterly, bitterly cold. So on Sunday evening, then many areas end the day on a dry and a fairly clear note. More cloud in the east, and that will feed more and more in the way of snow showers through the night. So the snow will start to accumulate in many areas, particularly across southeastern areas. Here we have a yellow warning for this heavy snow in force from the early hours of Monday morning. Across the whole of the UK, it's going to be a cold and a frosty night. Temperatures widely dropping below freezing, even in towns and cities. Factor into account the strength of the wind, a pretty severe frost on the way. So a very cold start to the new working week, but actually for many central and western parts, it's a fairly sunny start as well. But snow showers from the word go down the east and those will continue to move their way westwards through the course of the day. So by the afternoon, many central and eastern parts will see a mixture of sunny spells and snow showers, further accumulations of snow likely in places. Many western areas escaping with a generally dry and a bright day with some of the best sunshine across western parts of Scotland. But that won't help the temperatures. For all of us, it's going to be a very cold day. These are the temperatures on the thermometers. Factor into account the strength of the wind, it will feel more like it's minus four or minus five in many areas. So Monday ends on a cold note across the country, a frost reforming very quickly once again. And we continue with further snow showers down the east. And there is some potential for some snow, snow showers merging to a longer spell of snow across the far southeast, particularly towards Kent and Essex. And we already have an amber warning for this heavy snowfall in force here. Later on the night as well, a separate band of more persistent snow could well push into many eastern parts of the UK. And another very cold, frosty and icy night on the way. So by Tuesday, this band of more organised snow will push its way southwestwards. We have another amber warning in, in force here for that heavy and persistent snow. So by Tuesday afternoon, the risk of persistent snow across much of Wales and the southwest of England. Elsewhere, it's another day of sunny spells and snow showers. Just about anywhere could see those snow showers. And we have a number of yellow warnings for that heavy snowfall in force. And across the board, look at these temperatures, barely above freezing. And again, a strong wind will make it feel very cold indeed. So a very wintry week of weather across the UK on the way. Just about anywhere could see some disruptive snow, and that's the reason why we have these yellow and amber warning already in force so much of the UK. Some strong and strengthening winds will make it feel bitterly cold, raw in fact. So a lot going on with our weather. You can find out more on our website, our app, and our YouTube channel.